She says she leaves the party in a better position than she found it two years ago. And that is true. Which is true. It's how much credit goes to her for that because, of course, the last general election, the Conservatives went from 1 to 13 seats in Scotland. Labour only went from 1 to 7. There's been a lot of rumblings in Scotland against her talking about getting a new leader, saying that she focused too much on attacking the SNP and Nicola Sturgeon, should have attacked the Tories, blunted the Corbyn mania, if you like, mm -hmm. in, at that general is this election. A, is this a coup? Is this a Corbyn coup? I mean, I, look, were, were, were they, were they look at the lack of the enthusiasm in Corbyn's response to her departure. He, he, he couldn't have been more flat and... He, he, that was he, issued very... a he issued a longer and more generous well, statement too. Well, that was his said. initial response, right. tells you everything. Yeah. Uh, he's glad to Timmy, see the it? back of her. She doesn't fit in with Corbyn's Labour mm. Party, and she was very critical of him in the beginning, but mm. then most of the Labour Party were. So is this part of... A, are we seeing a, a, a slow and gradual process now? Because Corbyn did better in the election mm. than anyone expected, including himself, I'm sure, yeah. the party is becoming a Corbyn party I think it is. now. Yeah, I and think it is. And probably by the next election it will be just a straightforward, hard-left, neo-Marxist neo party. Well, I think, I think it's on the way already. It's uh, not neo-Marxist. Well, it's, 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 it's on the left. Corbyn isn't Marxist. There well, John, John well, McDonnell certainly is. He's never admitted he's a Marxist. He's never admitted he's a Marxist. Shadow Chancellor has. He, 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 he's never denied it either. He, he doesn't describe himself as a Marxist. It's a, it's a left-wing traditional Labour party which is putting more effort into representing traditional working what class voters. That's what he's doing. Waving what about, his what about, little red book. Hang on, what about his shadow chancellor? Yeah. Is he a Marxist? Yes, he is. Uh, he's he's admitted it, hasn't he? He, he has. Yeah, he's, he's a different uh, kettle of fish, though. The, the two are not the same. Yeah, his, Labour is not a Marxist party, although Marxists were there when it was formed in uh, yes. 1900 as a Labour representation committee. But if you come to it now, what was popular at the general election was Labour promising a £10 an hour minimum wage, Labour promising better employment and rights. And to pay the student debts off, which they couldn't do. They yeah, and, and promising not to pay student debts off, but to abolish tuition fees, which don't exist, remember, in Scotland, but they yeah, do but they let the in students England. on, didn't they? they yeah, didn't they didn't. They allowed yeah, they, them to think yeah. that they I mean, were just, having just a There's no evidence yeah, of that. No, yes, what he said, well, what Jeremy ever. Corbyn said, not Kevin, ever. was, what he said was about student, historic student debt, I'll deal with that, and now he's realised that he can't deal with it because he could never afford to and do he, it. No, he, and actually, the Labour Party is turning into a hard left vehicle. Look uh, at the shadow cabinet. He could have brought back people like Chukra and Mooner, Yvette Cooper, mm. all moderate Blairites in the Blairite wing of the party. Yeah. He didn't bring any of them back because so, he doesn't so, want them. He wants people and like and John and McDonnell, and the shadow look, chancellor, who is look, a Marxist. Look, look, you can have your party political broadcast. At the election, he said he has no... all the time. Said he had, As can you. He said he, he said and he, he does. Had, he said, no, I deal in the facts. He said he had no simple answer to pass student debt. That's what he said. No, now, he said he'd in, deal with it. in Scotland, there were rumblings against her because there has been a surge in Labour membership, but they're not of her political persuasion. Mm. In the Labour, Labour broad family, she's on the right, more Blairite, I think is probably yeah. the best way to describe okay. it. Most of the members coming in are on Corbyn. the left. And that's where she was isolated. And Jeremy Corbyn had a five-day successful tour last week of Scotland, big crowds, people flocking to see him. And I think that exposed a political gap between the enthusiasm in Scotland for Labour and where Kezia Dugdale is as a leader. Yeah. I mean, Gloria de Piero, mm. formerly of this parish, as you know, mm. but a, a Labour MP, uh, said that she's sad that Kezia Dugdale's gone, also says, mm. and let's face it, Labour is not overrun with women leaders. Yeah. I mean, that is an issue for the party, isn't it? it, in it, that it it's lost, actually, quite a, an effervescent, sort of young, vibrant female political voice. Mm. And you look at Ruth Davidson and what's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, the sort of stand that she has made. And Nicola Sturgeon, obviously, you know, in Scotland, you know, it's been a bit of a forefront for yeah. female politics. And it's it's an and important loss of And what's the bet and she'll be replaced by some old white middle you're, class left wing you're, bloke. You're right and she's only 36. Or if you look at Labour nationally, much uh, higher proportion of uh, women MPs than your lot, the Tories. Also, Emily Thornbury, Diane Abbott, some of the big positions in the shadow cabinet, it's roughly half now, are women. Mm. But nevertheless, in Scotland, you're quite right. Will this successor be a man or a woman? The early front runners look as if they're men. OK, what do you think Ruth Davidson, the, the, the Tory leader in Scotland, will be saying to her partner over Croissants and Coffee this morning? Will, will she think this is good news? It's good that Labour's moving to the left, a bit further to the left? Yes, I think she will. Yeah. And, uh, and, she, and she also will, I think, much prefer to take on some bloke, uh, left-wing right. bloke, uh, white left-wing bloke, rather than another woman, because there were three women battling yes. it out. No, she and won't. And that was quite unusual. No, she won't, because Ruth Davidson, leader of the Scottish uh, Tories, in the Scottish elections uh, last year, in the general election this year, beat Labour under Kezia Dugdale. Labour was pushed into third. Mm. She'll be frightened that Labour's re-energised no, and won't. then begin to challenge her. No, she so won't. she's quite happy with the way things are, no. Ruth Davidson, so changes a threat Ruth to her Davis, Ruth Davidson's group being groomed to be no, the she... next Scottish leader.
of all the whole country. Full stop. The whole country. <laughs> the whole country. She's doing very well. Do you mean they the parachute they, into a safe seat? No, 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 no. The talk. She she wants to become Scottish first minister, and that will then become a, a, a launch pad for something bigger. You've got to win. A, you've got to win a Scottish election. For well, that. they would, used to be the biggest party in the fifties. <laughs> right, Thank I, you both. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, guys. That's not going to happen. All right. Enjoy the company this time of the morning. Thanks, yeah, yeah. thanks for being here.